What's up, my angels? It's Nikki and Muffy. And y'all seen the title. So sit down. See you today. See you today. So I saw Damo's video. I believe it was yesterday. I don't know whether she posted yesterday. I forgot when. She, I didn't, don't remember if I looked at the date. I think I did, but I don't remember when she posted it. Probably posted yesterday. But she said her city had opened back up. So I just looked up my state. I mean, she said her state opened back up. So I just looked up my state, which is VA, Virginia, to see if, um, if we're supposedly back open. And apparently last week it was posted that as of the 15th, which was three days ago, that Virginia would be back open, but not in phase one. I don't really understand what exactly the difference in it reopening and not in phase one. I don't, I don't get it. But um, they're saying that the salons and barber shops and stuff like that can open back up. And I guess Starbucks is open back up. And social distance when you go to barber shops and beauty salons it has to be by appointment only and they have to have what they I guess the related set I don't know what that is um, but can you stop hitting me stop hitting me but um you still have a social distance but people haven't there are some people who haven't been social distancing anyway and like I have, but I haven't the way I should, because, like, it's just, it's frustrating, just to be honest with you, it's frustrating, like, but at the same time, I take care of myself in the way that a lot of people don't, so, can you, can you stop, what are you doing, what are you doing, you don't want that, but anyway, so, So, I don't know. I think it's, I think it might be, they might be moving a little too fast. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to feel about it. Um, I'm glad that life is about to get back to normal because I definitely miss being able to go out and do things and not worry about getting sick and catching something that's going to kill me or could kill me. Um, or my baby, and I'm, I'm, I'm ready for that, but not at the risk of it coming back worse because of the fact of it being open back up too fast. Um, so I'm, 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 I have mixed emotions about that. Like, I was kind of getting a little bit emotional watching the news reports on YouTube, of course, because I don't be watching the news like talking about, because I try to keep positive energy, and they be talking about a bunch of negative energy stuff, but stop it now, you being too wild, you said you were sleepy, so lay down, take a nap, take a nap, peace to say, but I was watching the news reports that was posted six days ago and last week and stuff like that and I don't know I was getting a little bit emotional because I have multiple like opposing emotions going on with that like I really 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 want to be able to go to the beach I really want to like I need to get out and enjoy myself I like I'm trying to go out and start dating like I don't know. I'm still highly concerned. Because I still don't really... I, I, I mean, I feel like it was put out there. I don't, I don't feel like it was something that just happened. Um, and I don't really understand exactly what it is. I, there's still no cure for it. I don't even believe in vaccines. Like, that's poison to me. Like, I, I mean... Y'all feel and think what y'all want to think and feel, but I've researched this shit, and it's some bullshit. But, um, 
for me and mine, we ain't, we don't do vaccinations. But um, we just take care of our health to make sure that we don't have to even worry about it. Which is why I've been out of work and not going and doing anything for real. And I'm ready to go back to work for real. I'm really like, I want to go back to work. Like, I need to be able to go back to work. Because just sitting up in here and every time I'm trying to get something done, this one is doing stuff like this. I be trying to paint. I be trying to work on my book. And this. Like, really? Why are you trying to put my shirt in my mouth? Why are you mushing me with my own shirt? Just rudeness. Give me a kiss. You was waiting on that, won't you? Yeah, you was. But anyway, I just need to be able to, I don't like not, like, feeling like I'm not giving her the attention that she needs. But at the same time, like, I be having to get stuff done. I still have to make that money. I still have to um, grind for her. And for me too, but more so for her because she can't do it. So, I mean, she need me. And sometimes that requires me not being able to give her the attention that she's needing. And I know that if I could ha go to work and put her, have somebody to watch her, they would be able to, she would be able to get that attention while I'm working. And I won't have to be worried about her. But at the same time, because like I said before, she had her seizure um like right before I stopped go um letting before I told her to take me off the schedule at work and um I'm still concerned about that she hasn't had one since but that wasn't that long ago and I'm still not 100% sure that um that that's gone as a matter of fact I need to go ahead and call her neurologist and see if we can set up an appointment, a follow-up appointment now that the, we're supposed to be back open. And also I need to call and schedule my surgery. I might as well call and do that and get that done before um, too because I don't want to go back to work and then have to be back off for a few days because of a surgery either. I might as well get that all done like ASAP. But I'm just stressed out. I'm stressed out. I suppose to have gotten unemployment. I got approved for unemployment like early April. I suppose to be been gotten paid unemployment from early April. I still haven't received any of that. I still have to file every week and everything, and I still haven't gotten any of that that. Um, so I don't know what's going on. But, um, yeah, it would be very helpful if I had that because then I could be able to get all this stuff done and not be concerned about, um, you know, maintaining, let alone growth. So, yeah. But we made it, y'all. Almost. We ain't all the way there yet. Oh, my eyes is glossing. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Just dealing with mixed emotions right here. Y'all like my shirt? I showed y'all the shirt before. Go ahead and put y'all orders in. Support the hustle. Support the grind. For real. Support the grind. Get y'all shirts. Now the men's shirts, I think the logos are up top where they're supposed to be. It's just the women's shirts are low. Like some of the men's shirts, I don't know. Some of them look like they're up higher, which is where they're supposed to be. But I just don't want to order one right now because I got to make sure these bills get paid. 
Um, <clears throat> but when I once I can get back to work and you know all these orders start coming in, I can order some more. But yeah. What y'all think? Y'all think the city ready? Y'all think we ready to open back up? Comment below and let me know what you think. What you feel about this whole thing? You being so petty. Listen, I don't know what that is on the wall, y'all. That's why I don't let her go over there. I didn't even mean to show that. I don't know what the hell that is. I'm scared. To, I'm scared to touch that shit without gloves. I can't, that's why I've been like, I really want them to hurry up and move me to another room. Cause this, that's that's just. And the maintenance guy tried to try to play me because my sink was clogged from day one, and I didn't call for them to come and fix it until almost a week later. He didn't come until a few days later, and that was because I called back to the office and was like, why ain't nobody came to fix my sink yet? And then he would try to complain, talking about why you wait a week, and, and now you rushing me, and this, this, and that. Like, and then he was like trying to say that I put something down the drain. And when I told him that I ain't put nothing down the drain, and when I rinsed my dishes out, I had a strainer in there. And he told me, so I don't believe you. I don't give a damn if you don't believe me. I ain't, I ain't asked you to believe me. It don't matter if you don't believe me. Your job is to fix it. But um, I'm not a rude person, so I was just like, I'm just not going to argue with you. I just need you to fix my sink, please. Because um, I can't use it. But anywho. So then he tried to tell me this was a fully um, a, a brand new room. Before you moved in here, ain't nobody stayed in this room since it's been fixed up, completely fixed up, but you, you're the first person that stayed in here, like, bruh, then what the fuck is this? Why is it that all of, all of the, those walls, the whole kitchen, all, that wall over there, all of that over there, why did I have to, like, completely wash those walls why did i have to wash the door why is it that the bathroom wall is still nasty because i haven't been able to wash it why is it that this whole wall right here is still nasty i i had to wash all of this and like the whole phone off the the table and everything why is this door my closet door still have crap on it you see that under the door knob yeah. Why what it what the fuck is that? Who you calling? Who you calling? So I haven't even fully put my stuff away as you can see cuz I haven't finished cleaning everything off and I was trying to get all that stuff clean before she got here, but my help had to leave and my mom was already on her way to bring my baby, so I just cleaned what I could to the best of my ability in areas that I know for a fact she's going to be touching. And I just keep her out of the bathroom because I haven't had a chance to clean everything in there. Um, like the walls and the door, the inner side of the door and stuff. Can you move? You going to stop pushing away from me and pulling away from me. We're not... We not playing those games. But anyway, girl hush. Where your pacifier? But anyway. You supposed to be laying down taking a nap anyway. But um, yeah. He tried to play me and try to say this was this room was completely redone. Like redone must not be cleaned. So if you didn't, you y'all didn't clean this obvious shit off the walls, then I know gut and goddamn well, y'all ain't cleaned them fucking drains out. So don't try to come for me. And I guarantee I'm you, if I try to show them this shit that's on these fucking walls, he gon' they gonna try to say that I put that shit there. You got me fucked up. I don't even know what the fuck that shit is. But anyway, I know I, my mouth is explosive right now, cause that shit got that got me lit. 
I shouldn't even have to pay over a thousand dollars for a place and then have to come in here and sanitize before I can even put my stuff away and be comfortable bringing my baby. Like, the fuck? But anyway, got me bent. Especially in the coronavirus season, like, especially right now, we're supposed to be deep clean, like, really cleaning everything. The restaurants has to clean everything, like, every couple of minutes. The stores have to clean everything every couple of minutes. Isn't it obvious that the hotels are supposed to clean everything before they move somebody in the room? When you have the coronavirus out here spreading and then they're going to send us a note. I ain't signing that shit. Talking about, um... You understand that you're you're staying here at your own risk, and if you catch the coronavirus at our hotel or anywhere else after being here, and so on and so forth, we're waived of liability. I'm not signing that. They talking about your continued staying here. You're agreeing to it. No, the fuck, I'm not. I already paid for this time here, so I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna clean that shit up. But, um, and I don't let, like, where I haven't cleaned it, I don't let my daughter go over there and touch it. And if she do, if I do see her touch it, or, if, well, I keep my eyes on her all the time. If she touch it, I make sure I clean her hands immediately. Um, but I keep her away from those areas. Ah, ah. So, yeah, they got me bent. You ain't about to catch me signing no shit like that. You got me fucked up. And they talking about in any uh, other of our locations and blah, blah, blah. Listen, I need to find an apartment. Because I, I ain't for the shits. Because if my baby catch something here, I ain't signing shit. I will sue y'all ass. Because ain't no fucking way. And I have a witness that seen all this shit that was on this wall before I cleaned it. Sat here and what helped me sanitize shit. So yeah, no. Mm mm. Girl, how you mad? It's empty. Here, you ain't even getting it all out because you gotta tip it all the way up. Hmm. You about to drink some water though. My baby don't like to drink water. She drinks more of it when I put lemon juice in it, but she still don't drink it. But if I put some juice or milk in that bottle, she tears it up. Like, that jank be gone in a few minutes. I put water in the bottle, and she'll be in there all day. The next day. The next day after that. She'll sip on it. That's it. Girl, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Them dogs is dirty. Wait a minute. I got a sweep. Let me clean them feet, girl. First of all, dust them things off. Looking like you were walking in the jungle. I said E, I said A. B. Say A. Say A. Muffy. I know you heard me talk to you. Say A. Good girl. Yay. Say Yay. Say B. B. Yay. A. Say C. Uh, Yay. Say C. 
Say C. Okay, we gotta go. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Can I say? Bye -bye. Can I say? Can I say bye bye? Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. Everybody, stay up. Stay low. Bye bye. And stay safe. Bye bye. Peace.